And then we shall be heading out into these places, I guess. Just, uh, well, let's go take out the Shriekers first, I guess. Though I'm a little bit unsure what kind of relation exactly they have to the Collective. But I would like to also get to that place. But they actually do have some little bit better fleets in these different places. But shouldn't be necessarily too bad of a situation. But yeah, let's just let's just head out. Let's just head out. Hmm, we're not even actually be leaving then. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if it uses the fuel already. Even though we would be cancelling it. Hmm, not sure at all. But yeah, I, I guess we can be going there anyways right now. Commander, we have a situation at the Officer Academy. Boy, Saten Tenho, what is happening to you? Uh-oh. The students at the Academy managed to get their hands on one of the top secret Federation officer teachers' manuals and are horrified at the actual survivor statistics of the most first-year officers. <laughs> it's led to a crisis in morale. Um, yeah, well... Yeah, uh, like the first officer that already died in our case is a little bit also the same sort of a situation after all. Uh, ca can't really be helped, but uh, that that's the reality. Okay, find an immediate rewrite or call the whiners. Um, I don't like either of the options. Call the whiners sounds like we are going to kill the ones that will fight and... Uh, here we just rewrite that case completely. This isn't actually true. Um, I don't know which one to choose. I guess the rather the immediate rewrite. Um, okay, it just takes a little bit of a materials. Saten Tenho immediately gets to work assembling a new edition of the offending manual this time. Covering up the more negative portions of the previous text with skillful euphemism. The concerned officer trainees take the bait. No need to worry, this. It's a slight sense you will die, really. Most never die at all, mostly forever. Totally. <sighs> Alright. Well, we're in another fight. What did you do? I'm not sure. Hmm. So, should we try out the quicken? Yeah, sure. Let's try it out the quicken for you. Or does it. Yeah, okay. Just for you. But you are indeed quickened. Let's teleport some explosives into you. Yay. Um, I guess I can exp teleport some explosive to you too. Alright, so you have the healing ability also here, which is great. In all reality, you might even use that. That's a single enemy, single enemy, single enemy. So yeah, let's just heal. That's not a bad idea anyways. <laughs> Spray and pray is clearly OP. Definitely. Let's just get the sensors offline again. Yes. And then you can be using the this one which exploits that status effect. Well, you're no longer quickened, but you were able to do quite a bit during the time. Uh, do enchants down. And then you can just do the all maneuver. And then you could do, let's see. Inflicts vulnerable, exploits a group panic, and inflicts both of those. Let's do this one. Good. So you are vulnerable, hull breach, ensign down, and sabotage. You exploit vulnerability, so yeah, now we can have a perfect time in doing more grenades. Yep, you're a goner. Nifty maneuver. Single enemy, crew panicked. Okay. 
or exploits screw panic if there would be any. Alright, a lot nicer now that we have a full three ships uh, crew or fleet, yes, fleet. Incoming hypercast, sir. Yeah, okay, Federation officers, this is some fuck. I lead the Shriekers. You have just now destroyed my secondary fleet. I am impressed. Moreover, I may be of a service to you. My location is visible to you. Come listen to my proposal. And you and I can together stop this madness. Huh. Your proposal, eh? Gain structural engineer. I know how to make this ship stronger. Space combat health plus 5%. Oh, great. Okay, straight structural engineer. So, objective completed. Defeat the Shriekers fleet. The Shriekers are pirate clan under the command of the collective regenerate. Savak is active in a... We should intercept them. Alright. Well, that is great. Here is indeed where Savak is, but I don't know if we want to be going there right away. <laughs> in our reality. Um, can I just, like, ignore you guys and just go here to kill this? We could try to be just sending my fleet to the Praetors as well, I guess. Sure. Now then, can I redirect you again into this one so that we will kill this one first, which we had left alive for way too long anyways? No, no. Well, fine enough. Then we go here as well. Ah, spray and pray. I know it well. Well, offline. But this does seem like we're able to do way better now, for sure, anyways. And it's nice that we have some that we can exploit these uh, different abilities from each other's. Let's do this one. But just, uh, yeah, share it to you. And you can be just uh, cauterizing the hull. And then you had the exploit. Yeah. Okay, good. Clearly very OP. Quicken you. It does seem like a knight's ability to be quickened, uh, then they act so much more all the time. So you still had the burn ability and hull breeds and support dots. But it's a different question if I should still do that more. Well, you are gone. Uh, inflicts burn ability, sure. Great, and this uh, exploits vulnerability, so... What better time? Uh, I wasn't meaning to do that, what this one? Okay, inflix engine down. Let's just do this one. Good. Able to deal with that ship easily enough. And a nice little victory for us. Incoming hypercast, sir. Attention, Federation. This is a Commander Villa, leader of the Raiders. I have detected that you have just killed one of my subordinates. Lucky for you, that was already his intended fate. He won't be missed. However, his ship will be. In exchange for my letting that slide come to see me, I have a proposal for you. I wonder which one of these is best. I had no idea anymore, like, about these different factions, which would be the one we would like to be on the side with. Maybe Freights, maybe Corpsers, I don't know about these guys. So, uh, yeah, no idea. In all reality. Well, now at least we also know their location, but they are a little bit bigger threat, definitely, than just the fleets. But let's just go and deal with this when it's been here for way too long anyways. Just hanging around. To no sway. Yes, yeah, start combat with this one. Let's just deal with it quickly. 
Shouldn't be too big of an issue. Let's just do the healing. Alrighty. Nice. And this one. Now you have as many choices to do as you want. Nice. Well, at least like now all of these actually are completely dealt with that we were first shown around here. Not that it was that big of a deal, but yeah, it's a good question. We'll... Okay, we could actually be getting some points up as well if we so wish. Um, let's see. Lucas has one skill point. You have one skill point and you have two skill points now. Hmm. So, this would be the cloak. Turn your ship invisible. Reduces threat by 50 ampere for minor repairs. Wouldn't be bad. Allies inspired and exploit senses of line. I would like to try that out though. And I might like to take the cloak as well. Yeah, let's do so. Let's take the cloak and uh, inspired. And then for you, we could also take the other uh, healing ability. And maybe with you, I should rather wait until... Okay, okay, actually, I could also just increase something with just one point. So it's not like it even costs a lot. I think I had to be level 4, though, before those opened up. Yeah. So now you could actually increase whatever you want from these abilities with... Very nicely. Just a good question of which one it should be. Yeah, it just uh, makes these abilities better. As thus, I would say that we have had more troubles on uh, around crown con uh, well on the crown combat. But on the other hand, right now I see more of a need for ship combat abilities. I guess this just is uh, six round cooldown recovery, one round. I don't know how much it improves it. Increases speed by 110, okay. That's, uh, yeah, otherwise it's 90%. But this is, on the other hand, pretty nice. A camisa move that hits all enemies. Hmm. Exploits weapon disruption, but I don't remember if I had any really good weapon disruption skills. I don't think I had at the moment, so let's take Quicken, better Quicken, for the moment and time being. You are also doing the learning habit soon, so that's nice. I guess, well, let's see, which one would we rather go into? So 200, 480 and 800 ship. 800, 200 and 640 ship. So basically this I think is a little bit easier. Still. I'm a teeny tiny bit just unsure, like, overall, our ships aren't that amazing. 600, 400... Well, I should... I think we should be able to win, but maybe I should save before that. Nonetheless... Uh, let's just make a number uh, after this, this time around, at the very least. So, let's just uh, head into here then and meet with this one first. Be besides, this is probably the one that I know for sure I am okay destroying. Plus, uh, when I'm not sure about this one, uh, if I'm what choice I would like to make, I well, in on the other hand, I would also like to know if there is a choice about that matter, so... Let's just head there right now. Commander, the pirate Savak is hailing our fleet. Federation officer, this one has a remunerative proposal for you. Please affirm if you would like to hear specifics. Take another course and I will instead apply pressure outside the bonds of speech. Yeah, so weapon type of thing. So... A collective pirate. How did that come about? Thanks to a happy accident and in combination with perhaps a rare disposition, this one is no longer of the collective. Rather, this one is Savak, a collective of one, if you please. 
Okay, so you're not of the collective anymore. You are a collective of one <laughs> of yourself, so to speak, of the pirates. Um, so what's this proposal? I would like to still know. By the way, nice that we see our uh, star map on the side nonetheless. Uh, first, my theory is this. You, Terrans, wish for a more stable presence in this sector. The Admirax is not that presence. And you are. I have studied the Halcyon Sector Pirates extensively in my time with them. They value strength and would follow Savak. And Savak has no interest in star bases. Or the Federation. And a sus will not interfere with you. Hmm. I could believe that. I could believe that he has no interest or she has no interest actually probably. But uh... And all we ha we'd have to do is... Question, question, question mark. Eliminate Villa, the commander of the freighters. And in exchange, Savak will provide the location of the Admirax asteroid field. Savak will handle the forces of Knud, the Xlar. Additionally, material and dark matter will be provided to your star base in stages. Material and dark matter. I would like the sound of that though. I gotta just hear the offer of the other <laughs> person first before I can make the decision. Material and dark matter, that does sound nice though. One portion immediately, another when Villa is neutralized. And the last portion when the Admirax is rooted from his nest. Uh, I would like to know better what would be the deals the others would be providing. Savak, that is Savak's best and only offer. Affirmative or negative, Tehran? Huh. On the other hand, I'm not sure if it's a good idea that there's a... There would be someone like Savak as a leader either. So, but on the other hand, the material and dark matter, getting those from here sounds like a very nice thing and a very nice deal. <sighs> what to do, what to decide is a very good question. What if I accept and then went to see what would be the offer from the other person? Is that possible? Can I do that? I hope I can, because I would like to really like know if I could get a nicer slash better deal. So accept for now? Excellent. Expect the resource advance to reach your station promptly. Eliminate Villa and you will hear from Savlak once more. Well, cheers. The Shrieker is a pirate clan under the command of the Collective Renegade. Savlak is active in the Tunis system. Well, let's go and uh, see a well, they did disappear completely from here, so I have no idea, but let's uh, at least see if it will just start a combat with them right away now or not. Will the Commander of Raiders hailing us, sir? That cyborg scum Savak sent you, didn't he? Typical Federation move, siding with the nefarious collective. No matter, looks like I get to add a few more Federation corpses to my tally. tally. Well, I don't know, maybe I should be on the side of the the Savak then when I already did that, even though I was like very much wondering if I would want to be doing it, but mm, I do think the sense, uh, this sensor's offline is probably one of the best ones to do first and foremost, though. A couple of them were... Indeed. Um, getting into it. Exploits, senses of line, and allies inspired. So yeah, let's go with this. Let's see what inspired even does for us. So. Ooh, that is nice. Plus 25% damage and aim to all of them. All of us. 
So that is a very nice skill. But there is uh, only that available at the moment, so nothing that special. Inflicts the burn ability. But these are all basically single enemy things. But I guess we could do this then. Salvage, Harpune Salvage thingy. And I guess you could quicken this one. So they could use it very nicely into their advantage, so full breach, but unfortunately not the vulnerable or vulnerability, which is certainly a shame. Well, at that moment, exploits vulnerability, but not full breach, yeah. So let's just do this then. It exploits sensors offline, and this one still has sensors offline after all. So. Surely enough, not a bad option. I doubt they both would... All would just concentrate into you straight away though. So I don't think I have to do the cloak quite yet. At the very least. And there is some others who could do some healing. But at least you did get to do the sabotage anyways. Okay, ship disabled is uh, unfortunate however. You could do the healing for sure. Some healing shouldn't be for sure bad. Hmm. Disable countermeasures. Inflicts the burn ability. Let's do this. Or try to do it. Hmm. Resisted, unfortunately. Maybe I should concentrate in getting the other ships down first. Let's just uh, go with the all maneuver first. And then... Yeah, we have a lot of healing with you as well, considering we have the repair drones and then the... These repair drones, so a lot of uh, overall healing. Let's just uh, get these repair drones there. Yeah, it's uh, overall for four rounds, so that is a nice, like, a longer healing ability, basically. Yeah, you are still sabotaged, so... Oh, let's do this one. Engine's critical. Alright, of course now you can't do this right away, but you could just heal yourself with these repair drones. Let's just do the sensor offline. Nice, too. Nonetheless, we've got that under them, or for themselves. Let's just exploit the sensors offline. Ah, uh, you would have had this, which would have exploited the hull bridge that this ship had for a moment. Would have been a good idea, but I didn't notice to do it at the moment. And haven't done the hull bridge for the time being then again. Hmm. Well, we'll have to try to remember it next time. So now it has a vulnerability and hull bridge, both. Well, let's see about this then. Exploits vulnerability. Nice enough. Okay, resistant. And you exploit hull breach. Nice. Mm, let's just go with the inspire. Time to unleash engineering hell. Well, they're almost both gone, so I'm very happy with that boat. That was a very nice critical hit by them. So do heal yourself while you still can. Mm, they don't have sensors offline. Not that uh, they have a lot of health either, but... I kind of feel like I would like to still have like the healing for you nonetheless first. So we don't use a lot of uh, materials for the healing, nonetheless. Just shoot. Should be okay. Nice. 
There is also, of course, the retreat option, but at least a lot of dark matter. Commander, we have a hypercasting coming from Savak, the pirate. Terran, friends, you have this once thanks for dispatching Villa. I have dispatched the reward we agreed upon, and your starmat is updated with the Admirax location. Victory is now in your grasp. Best not let it slip. Okay. Villa's Raiders has been defeated. And here would be the Admirax. At the secret pirate base. Alrighty. Admirax Sep does have a pretty good ship though. We might be able to go and actually try to fight them. But I'm not sure if that's the best choice. Let's just increase Salvat's har uh, Harpoon, because it does seem like a very good one. Very good option overall. Hmm. Damage 75% with that. I do like it though, for sure. I do like this inspired. So let's just uh, increase it a little bit more, I guess. So, it's a question. What would we exactly want to do? Oh. Is that... Hmm. I guess this one is also asking for assistance. Yeah, this is the closed portal. Newt corpses. Defeat the Admirax and Perse colony under attack. We've received a distress signal from the 28th days left. From the Axis Perse sector, we should send help before it's too late. Ah. Uh. They are pretty strong though, that's for sure. But we do have a lot of materials at the moment, so we could also be building better ships. We don't have that much oil. It's a question, should I go here first or should I just go and try to be dealing with at least some of these before they can go on and... Because here's would be crew for us as well. More crew would definitely be welcome after all. Let's see, can we build ourselves a new ship? Mm, yeah, we had the marksman ship. Uh, Reserves. We could also reserve the better size star ship. Let's just do that as well, so we can at least see what type it would be. Might be a good option after all. Disciple, especially now when we have another one. Another science officer. Disruptor beam. Inflicts crew panic. Exploits weapon disruption. And allies adaptive armor. Reinforces the hull and repairs armor. Increasing damage resistance by 10% for 3 rounds. Considering we have also engineering ship that can do a lot of healing. That might be a good idea. Though there is a fact that there's no more... Senses of line as I can see it, which this one can do, which I do like I quite have a lot. As does the rogue also works really nicely with it. With the support us and senses of line and so on. When the on the other hand, this yes, ex exploits vulnerability all enemies, that is as such nice. Inflicts weapon disruption. Um Exploits weapon disruption. So it might be a good idea to then indeed operate all of these possibly. And then that would be better. <sighs> huh. Well, it's still a good idea to be building this when we can, considering we will be wanting to have uh, every officer to be able to have a ship. Hmm. They have been able to do well at the moment, though, these three ships. But could we win these? They have 640, 800 and 1300 hit points. I think it might be a better bet to go against these when there's only two ships. Not three ships to go against. So maybe we should return home first and then see about going and visiting over there.